Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Colossians chapter three, verses eight through 10. They read as follows, but now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in the knowledge and the image of its creator. The Cleveland Clinic explains that taste buds are tiny little sensory organs on our tongues and our mouths that allow us to experience taste. They are located towards the back of our tongue, right down the middle and towards the front, and they allow us to experience five different types of taste sweet, salty, umami like tomatoes, sour like lemon, and bitter like broccoli. There is an adage that says that our taste buds are changing every seven years. They change every seven years, but that's actually not true. They change every 10 days. They are constantly changing. They die off and new ones grow back. As we get older, that process is a little less frequent, which is why our taste changes as we get a little older. The Cleveland Clinic also lets us know that taste buds can let us know if something is good or bad, which makes eating pleasurable, keeping our bodies nourished, and it can protect us, letting us know if something just doesn't you know, taste right, is not right like spoiled milk or rotten meat. So we have these physical taste buds that just kind of do so much for us. And it's funny because when we were kids, we kind of seemed to all like you know, certain things that we didn't like kind of other things. But as we became adults, we seen you know, our taste buds have changed and we seem to sort of be more open to other things and maybe even stuff that we ate as a kid. While it might taste good, we know it's not as nourishing, so we don't even go for it. Is this me or is this kind of how we are with our walks with the Lord? And we even kind of find this in scripture. We read that when I was a child, Paul writes, when I was a child, I thought like a child, I talked like a child, I reasoned like a child, but when I became a man, I put childhood, put childish ways behind me. Even before we know the Lord, when we are children in the world, children of the world, we kind of have one taste. We have a taste for sin. We have a taste for partying and lying and manipulating. We have a taste for cheating or maybe less. We have a taste for what the world offers. But then we give our lives to Christ and it's like our spiritual taste buds change. We are starting off as babies, but slowly and surely we start to mature. We start to change. We might still like some of the same things that we used to like, but I don't know, maybe we don't want to party as much for some reason anymore. Or maybe we feel bad now when we lie to people we didn't used to feel that way. Or maybe manipulating people to get what we want just doesn't sort of have its same appeal. We are just kind of slow. It doesn't happen overnight, but just like slowly, little bit by little bit, we start to change. Our verse today instructs us to get rid of things like anger, slander, rage, malice, and filthy language. And the Holy Spirit helps us with this because once we give our lives to Christ and he comes to live inside of us, he starts to convict us. He starts to change us more into the image of his son. And those same things just don't kind of have the same appeal. It's sort of like our taste buds. They are kind of slowly starting to change. We put on the new self as our verse explains, which is being renewed in the image and the knowledge of its creator. We are putting on that new self. Friends, when we really go after our relationship with the Lord, when we get in our word, memorizing scripture, leaning on scripture, trusting the Lord, when we are praying, we are spending our time with the Lord every single day, getting around other believers, when we are really after the Lord in so many ways, our spiritual taste buds are changing just like our natural taste buds change. The old ones are dying off, the new ones are being formed. And as we walk in this process, it becomes so much easier, little bit by little bit, step by step, to just have a strong distaste for everything the world offers and to have that wonderful, glorious taste. But what truly nourishes us, what truly gives our body the nourishment, the goodness that we need, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that everything in creation, God, in some way, shape, or form reflects you, reflects our relationship with you, even something like taste buds. Lord, we thank you, God, for just the metaphor of them dying off 
and being rebirthed, Lord. And we thank you, God, that you were working that in us as well, God. The old is passing the way and the new is coming, Lord. The new is here. We thank you, God, for newness, Lord, new desires, new tastes, Lord, new proclivities, Lord, that are all directed towards you, God, that we may grow in our relationship with you, that we may be more in the image and the knowledge of our creator, and that is you, that we may put off the old self and put on the new self, that we may give you glory, God. We don't want the taste of the world. We don't want those tastes of sin, God. We don't want to do those things because that is bad for our body, God. That is bad for us, God. We want your taste, God, your desires, God, your proclivities, God, your ways, God, which is the true nourishment, God, the true way of living, God. And you, we live and move and have our being, and we are nothing without you. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. I would love to have you. Guys, have a great day. I love you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.